just do a first reading of a poem I haven't read before just for the sheer joy of doing it. I'm not reading it to, as a teacher to break it apart. I'm not reading it to teach anybody anything. I'm just enjoying it, which might mean it might be of no interest to you. I might or might not like the poem I read. Who knows? Um, I pick these fairly randomly. I try to pick a poet I don't know or know very little about and do just a straight up reading. I would come back to this many times if I were going to teach it, but I'm not. So this one today is in MoCo, Caribbean Arts and Letters. It's a nice little journal devoted, devoted to um, really anything Caribbean. Um, and this poet, uh, Eugene Alira, is, uh, or as we're told in the notes, from is uh, in the Bahamas, and it's from Haitian descent. So Eugene Alira, I don't know Eugene. Sorry, Eugene. Um, we'll just read it. Every time I do this, I like to, to uh, look at the form first before I read. This one we have a series of couplets down to a single line. The lines look similar, so let's do a little bit of counting here. I remember shepherd needles. I'm not reading them, just counting syllables. Nestled in a jar full of bees. I remember sketching circles in dirt playing marble for keeps. I remember the conviction. So eight. Eight, uh, eight syllables per line pretty consistently here through the, thir the first three stanzas. I'm not going to keep doing it. I usually do it until I have to. I can hear the meter just as I was counting it. I remember shepherd needles nestled in a jar full of bees in a jar so we get a, a substitution right there in the in a jar two unstresses and then a stress with jar full of bees and then back to iambic so largely an iambic poem uh, eight syllables for line right so end rhyme is there needles bees circles keeps keeps bees bees trees leaves all right there's a little bit of rhyme but it's not consistent throughout it so let's just go through and read it. Um, form keeps it nice and tidy. I've not seen a lot of metered poems this way um, recently. Nostalgia. So we start off with uh, this idea of looking back to the past. That's it listed in the title. I remember shepherd needles nestled in a jar full of bees. Wow, that's a vivid image. Really nice sound there. I remember shepherd needles nestled in a jar full of bees. I really love the way the sound of that of that line here. I'm not really sure what it means off the bat, but I'll keep reading and come back to it. I remember sketching circles in dirt, playing marbles for keeps. Ah, yes, like childhood games playing circles. I'm not sure what the shepherd needles are in the beginning. Nestled in a jar full of bees. I remember the convictions. Girls climbing up the juju trees. Yes, that sounds very, very childlike here. These strong convictions uh, that are there tree climbing remember them taking flights kites made from stripped coconut leaves um, that's kind of neat the image of childhood here are the kites flying the kids around climbing the trees now I realize there's a lesson in it all and how lemonade wasn't as popular I had a tongue for cups watered down Kool-Aid mix and freeze we named my colors we get a, a turn here like almost like we'd have in a sonnet we shift gears now from the early just memory now i realize there's a lesson in it all and lesson in all the stuff from childhood how lemonade wasn't as popular had a tongue for cups I'm not sure what that is um but this is that thing where kids do where they chew down on cups or what i'm not sure if that's that or something else water down Kool-Aid. Mm, it's Kool-Aid that's been watered down. Mixed and freeze. So this Kool-Aid has been sometimes you water freeze some Kool-Aid watered down, renamed by colors. We named the Kool-Aid by colors, or the situation by colors, or the people by colors. I'm not sure what's going on in that. Nostalgia itself seems to have a color in it. I mean the way things are set up in memory. Uh, very man at this point it's a nice little poem i really th this type of poem i'm almost more interested in the sound of the poem than i am in what it says and i not mean to discount the poet at all for that but just really like in terms of what they mean to say um it was such such a really cool sound i like the repetition the first four stanzas as i remember 
then we shift into like I said this turn in the last three stanzas and the, the language shifts in the last three stanzas because we're out of that initial anaphora that beginning repetition that comes up um, in this in the initial anaphora I remember shepherd so it goes I remember then there's an s and I remember then there's an s then I remember then there's a t then I remember there's a t it you know it feels like it sets up this uh, this pattern that goes through very neat sound I, I definitely want to check out some more of this uh, this poet's work really neat <laughs> 